What's up guys? For today's video, I will show you how to handle purifiers for beginners part 2. This time, I'll be discussing how to determine the correct gravity disk size using nomogram and how to calculate minimum flow rate for a purifier. First, we need to calculate the FO purifier minimum flow rate in liters per hour. So here, main engine is 28.8 plus 2.2 metric tons per day metric tons per day times 1.1 which is the 110% of the total consumption full speed per day so we will multiply it 28.8 plus 2.2 equals 31 times 210% 1.1 is 34.1 34.1 metric tons per day we will convert it to cubic meter per day by dividing corrected specific gravity how to solve the corrected specific gravity so here's the formula here 0 0.9545 you can see here at the fuel analysis report okay so here 9545 nine, 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 minus that T2 minus T1 15 degrees which is constant times to the correction factor of 0 0.0063 because the 0 0.9545 is in the, middle. in the middle of 0 0.912 to 0 0.978 the result is 0 0.9009 metric tons per cubic meter so 34.1 per day divide the result of the corrected specific gravity 0 0.9009 34.1 divide 0 0.9009 so, equals to 37.85 cubic meter per day. Now, we need to convert the 37.85 cubic meter per day to liters by multiplying 1,000 liters. Here, 37. Okay. 37.85. 8.5 times 1,000 so equals 37.850 liters per, per, day. per day okay because our minimum flow rate in liters per hour we need to divide it in 24 hours Divide 24 hours 37850 divide 24 is equals to okay. equals 1577 liters per hour our purifiers are running in parallel 
we need to divide it by 2 okay. 1577 divide 2 is equal to 788.5 788.5 Meters per hour. How to select the correct gravity disk size by using tomogram? So, first, gather the data. Is that 98 degrees? This is a separation temp. This is the 9545, the density at 15 degrees, and the minimum flow rate. 1577 liters per hour or approximately 1500 first locate the specific gravity 954.5 so here second is the temperature 98 degrees here 95 here and we will make draw a vertical line then with the specific gravity draw a curved line until they intersect the 98 temperature Draw a horizontal line from the intersection point to 100 degrees Celsius. So here's the intersection point and draw a vertical line to 100 degrees. Locate the feed rate which is 1500. Then draw a line Draw a line till to 100 degrees Celsius. Now we can identify the correct gravity disk size here, which is between 70 and 74. Here. The two purifiers are running in parallel. Our minimum feed rate is 788, approximately 800 liters per hour. So we will do a drop here. Imagine here, imaginary 800. And we will draw a line here. Same, same as the first one. 